In this video, we take a look at how to write a binary search but using a recursive algorithm. Binary searches can be performed both iteratively, which we've done in a previous video, and it can be done recursively. Now, a binary search checks the middle of an array or the section of an array that you're currently looking at for the search item that you are looking for. Now, there are generally four items used with a binary search. You have an array of data which has been sorted. You have a mid variable representing the middle. UB variable representing the highest index. UB standing for upper bounds. And LB representing the lowest index. LB standing for lower bounds. These are going to be adjusted. Now, one of four things can happen here. The middle of the array is equal to the search item. That means when we're looking right at the middle at the very beginning, our search item may be there. If that's the case, we've reached our base case and we exit the recursive item. The search item value is greater than the value of the middle index. That's our next scenario that could happen. When this happens, we update low. We change it to mid plus one. We change that lower bound variable. These values are passed to the function in a recursive call. Another option is the search item value is actually less than the value of the middle index. In this case, the high variable or the UB for upper bound is changed to mid minus one. These values are passed to the function in a recursive call. And the last option is we reach our base case. Um, the item is not found, low exceeds the high value or lower bound exceeds upper bound, in which case negative one is returned. Let's take a look at an example so our code actually makes sense. So here is our data. We have index zero, index one, two, three, all the way to index four. So we have five uh, indexes that we're looking at. Index zero is gonna be six, index one is 17, index two is 22, index three is 41, index four is 65. And of course, this data is in uh, ascending order. It has been sorted and that's how binary search works. You have to have an array that has been sorted. So here are our variable values. Low or the lower bound is gonna be zero. High is gonna be equal to four. Now the mid, this is gonna be low plus high divided by two and you wanna be using or performing integer division. You want that decimal to just be dropped off. Now mid is not passed to the function recursively since it's always calculated by low and high. So we just need to update low or update high and then we can recalculate mid using integer division. So our search item in this example is going to be 41. Let's take a look at how the binary search would work. So we have our function binary search. We have a data set. We have low, we have high, and of course the item that we are looking for. So here's our data set. So our low is zero, our high is four. Now we calculate mid, that is zero plus four divided by two using integer division. Zero plus four is four. Four divided by two is two. Mid is gonna be set to index two. It is not set to 22, it's set to index two. Now what we do is we compare our search item, which is gonna be 41, with the data in the uh, data set two. So I take data set two, and I know that data set two is lower than the item because 22 is lower or less than 41. So we update low. So low, when we update it, we do mid plus one. So here's what the computer does now. We get rid of mid, and what we do is, is we're gonna swing over to mid plus one. Mid was two, two plus one is three. So now we have updated low, and we are half high, because it's still gonna be four, and then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pass those to the recursive method again. We're gonna pass our data set. We're gonna pass a new value of low, we're gonna pass a new value or the uh, existing value of high because it's gonna be the same and then item 41. So we're gonna pass that again to the function. So now my low is index three, my high is index four. So I calculate the mid. Three plus four is seven divided by two using integer division. Well, seven divided by two is 3.5. Because it's integer division, it's simply gonna drop off that 0.5. So we're left with mid being equal to three. So now we have our mid. So data set three 
is equal to the item we are looking for, which is 41. We return the value mid for the index or a Boolean value indicating that it has been found depending on what our function is searching for. Maybe we're returning the value. Maybe we're returning mid to show the index of where it can be found or a Boolean value saying whether it can be found or not. It's really up to us and how we want to program. So let's put this into practice and program a binary search through a recursive function. And here we are in uh, coding this out. So we have index as integer. Now the reason I have that is so I can record what index that our search item was actually found in. I want to make sure that our recursive binary search is working. So I need to return the index and make sure that the item was found in the appropriate index. I have data array with a lower bound of zero an upper bound of four with the items filling in our array. They are uh, sorted just like they were in the PowerPoint. So I'm going to call my recursive binary function. I'm going to pass down these items, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And of course, that's going to uh, have a value stored in index. And then we put output the index where it was found. So let's talk about these items. The first one is going to be the parameter data set. That is by ref. If you're in uh, vb.net, you should always pass arrays uh, by ref. Uh, even if you put by val, it's going to accept it by ref anyway, so by uh, reference. So I'm going to pass down this entire array. I also need to pass down next my lower bound, which is zero. That is the lower bound of my array. I also need to pass down the upper bound, which in this case is four. That's the highest index I have in my array. The last thing I need to pass down is my search item. And we are looking for item number 41. And then of course, what is this returning? This is returning an integer. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I need mid. Mid is going to be an integer, and mid is going to be equal to my lower bound plus my upper bound. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use integer division. If I divide by 2, just like this, that is not integer division. So in VB, we have to flip it around so it's an integer division. If you're uh, doing it in uh, Java, you don't need to do that. The regular division sign uh, will work because it's by default integer uh, division. So. Here's what we need to do. We need to check to see if the upper bound is less than the lower bound. So if we do that, then what we need to do is we need to return negative one. That is one of the options is that it's not in there. And if it's not in there, well, then upper bound will eventually become less than lower bound. Now, I have a set of if statements here. So let's check them out. So if our data set mid, that is the index we are checking. One option is that it's less than the search item. If it is less than the search item, we need to update our lower bound by do, assigning it mid plus one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall recursively my recursive binary function. I'm going to pass to that my data set. I need to update my lower bound. So I'm going to do mid plus one that will change the lower bound position. I'm going to pass upper bound because it will stay the same. And of course, the search item I'm looking for. That is one thing we can do. The other option that can happen is we need to, uh, oh, we need to put our condition. Else if it's greater than, so data set mid is greater than the search item. Now, if it's greater than the search item, I need to update my upper bound. So I'm going to return the REC binary, calling that recursive function. I'm going to pass my data set. I'm going to pass my lower bound. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass my upper bound and I'm going to change it to mid minus one. And then, of course, the search item. Now, there is another option and that it's found. And let's put this uh, parentheses back. So another option is that it's found and we simply return mid because if it's not uh, less than, if it's not greater than and uh, upper bound is not lower, upper bound is not less than the lower bound, then it's found and we simply uh, return mid. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. We are looking for 41 is found in index three. This should say the item was found in index three. So let's go ahead and run this and let's take a look here. 
So we can see the item was found in index three. So it looks like it's working. Now let's go ahead and check every index to make sure that it's working. So I wanna look for index six. Found an index zero, perfect. I wanna look, I said index six. I wanted to look for the value of six. Uh, we need to look for 17. So we run that. That says found an index one, perfect. Uh, let's search for the next one, 22. And we want to definitely hit a five, not a four. Found an index two, perfect. We've already checked 41. So let's do 65. And make sure I'm hitting the right buttons here. Gotta hold the function key and index four. So that is how you write a recursive uh, binary search. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help the channel grow. And we'll see you guys in the next video.